obviously this one you see this one is sexy now i'm talking about the sexy glass front black on black stylish evoke six wide oh i'm jason edmund aka machine man and i do machine things let's meet some of my friends over at usi And um, it started as like a penny peanut dispenser back in 19, like 30. We're celebrating 90 years now. So, so yeah, we started, uh, you know, uh, in fact, the, uh, her grandfather, Heidi's grandfather, was the one who started uh, with a penny peanut dispenser uh, and, and grew it to, to what it is today. So, uh, yeah, we've been known for quality and machines that work for a while it sounds like i think you've probably experienced but you can rely on, on the equipment yeah. and everything works for the most years, part 12 years in 12 yeah. years in yeah. i'm still using yeah. the first set of machines that i got yeah. it still works it's still in the field yeah. Yeah. plug it in and not think about it too much just refill it when you need it correct correct I really like this song. This song is great. For the size, right? Yes, you can actually adjust the base. I mean, you can do five selections across, you can do six selections across, but if you do more than five selections across, you can only limit it to two push it trays. Okay, all right, yeah. all right, I see what you're saying. So if you need more selections, it's okay, but you can only have one or two. You cannot do more than two trays, complete trays, of the push it. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How easy is it going to be to modify the okay. basic and purchase a tray? You purchase a tray. And then you can swap it out. You're going to have to have a flex control. You have to have the flex. Like, can you have e six more for that? No, only five. Able five. Only able five. Meet my homie Lou, great guy, goes above and beyond with helping. In our conversation with Lou and Bob, who you're about to meet, we're discussing possible solutions to getting the door open for a combo machine that I have. My vending machine is locked and I can't get it open. That's the simplest form of saying how what's happening. I really need to get the machine up and going because I have a lot of customers, I have a lot of people who need to use that machine. So that's what's going on, that's the plan for today, just to go and have a conversation with the USI team. Hopefully they can walk me through and let me know exactly what's the issue, why my door is closed and I can't get it open. Using the key, it's not opening, nothing is, nothing is working right now. Hey, machine man. What's going on, what's going, going on? on? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Picture this. That it goes up and down. Okay, when the lock is turned all the way, you can still push this down a little bit further. And, and then you can slide it out. No, but the thing is, it's locked. It's already in. He can't get it open. But what's turning? He can put the key in. But he's just spinning. 
what's turning is is the lock turning or is the inside of the key turning for what i understand this he, he, when he puts it in it just keeps spinning it, can, it's, 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 it doesn't all right so here i'm going to show you something else so if this is just spinning did he lose this tip did he lose the tip to this key? Not to my knowledge. So that's just a couple of things you need to ask. Ask him. Ask him to look at the shape of the key. Is it a cylinder lock like this? Yes. It's the exact same setup right here. If I don't know how that lock fails, that this is turning. So what I want to know is, if he were to put a mark, if he were to put a mark on this, or if he can keep an eye on where the top of this lock is. Is this thing turning? Is the lock itself turning, or just the ins, just the inside? So I, I want to know what part is, what part is turning. All right. So now the inside is turning. You've got a, you've got a, a failure on, on the lock itself inside. Let me let me say this. No, the lock. You see, the spring for the yeah, lock yeah. has gone bad. So right now, when you open the machine. It doesn't pop open. It, pop, it pops open, but it stays like here. It's flexible. It's not... Okay. So if it stays here, you're not opening the door. Yeah, I can open the door like that. I've been operating like that for months. Since so if that lock is like this, it could be catching this, and that might not open the door. But it, it should be... You should be able to get the door open. But it pops open? Yes. Usually, when, I, when I'm working on this it. This pops open this far? Yes. Yeah, so, so then something is happening with the lock that it unlocks it. Yeah, it's a lock. See, what, what I believe happened, he didn't push the door right in. So, usually when I lock that machine door, I, I would put my weight on the gates of door with, with my knee. And I will yes. stop the lock in. I would always do it that way. Yeah. But he was a stock in the machine, so I think he just put it in. Just, I just, I just the lock here. And then the door is not locked. No, the, the, the door was not open. It's locked, but it's not. It can't get in. Then if it's not opening, yeah. it's a frozen? No, no it's, it's, a, it's a combo machine. But it's a both? Look, if you... It's, it's Alpine. It's Alpine? It's the very first one. It's from okay. 2010. It's not spring loaded. So if you close this door, when you close this door, you can always lock the door because you push it in and yeah. it's just one more or two turns. Couple turns yeah. But if you do that with this, and you lock that, you're gonna push that up against that roller. And it won't open. And it, but I don't get why it's not opening because it, it, it never locked. No, this is just a jump in Yeah. Sorry, you're fine. I don't know what's keeping that door from opening if it never locked. Because, because this now is in front of this roller. There's nothing holding that thing closed. So what I think about this is So when I think I put it in, I slam the scale. Okay. Right? Usually, I would have to kind of push my a little weight on the door okay. and then close it in. Okay. So what I believe happened, you just put it in and slam it in. So, I, just, I don't know, man. I just don't. See, I'm not there. So I, I, need, I, I need a picture. I got to find out what's going on. I need a video on it. Because, because the other thing I want to see is because this is... This is on an angle. This is on an angle, so what it does is it comes in over here and it just rides back behind this thing. Correct. And it gets tighter and tighter as you're going up. So I don't know why the door is stuck closed if it's not locked. It's frozen. But it's not a frozen. It's not a frozen. And that's what I, I that's what I thought also at the beginning. Well, how level is the machine? Well, I said that machine oh, so four years ago. All right, so here you go. Here we go. All right, see how you close this door? 
See how it hit that little plastic yeah. piece right there? Yes. Feel it. Yeah, yeah, he just commented on how nice it was. Yeah. Right, it shouldn't hit that plastic piece should, at all. At all? Not at all. So when you go back to your machine, if you can't get the door open, that right front leg, I want you to take that leg. Go like this, about six times. It'll knock this door this way, and it'll lift it up, and you'll probably... So I'm, I'm raising this leg, or I'm dropping it? Raising the front it. You're pulling it to you. Come at you. So I'm going to raise this side. That'll raise that leg. Here's what you need to do. If you level the cabinet right here, yeah. you lower the two front legs to the ground. And then this one here, on the right, on this outrigger, yeah. take that leg and you turn it. And when you see it pull the second leg off the ground, go the two more leg. turns. Okay. The, the, no, there's three legs here on this side. One, there's two, one, on two. The back. Yeah. Okay. The one here, right here next to it, behind it, when it starts to come off the ground, yeah. Go two more water turns, and you'll be able to go like this with two fingers and close that door, and it'll release that lock. You're, you're bear, pulling on it. Bear in mind, this is a, a 12 year old machine. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. okay. It's probably what's going on. I should have thought it's about it. It's out of level. Thinking. Yeah, it's out of level. That's all it is. So, it, I mean, it's not able to ride up that, that ramp. It ain't even the ramp. It's as it goes up, the cabinet's flexing, and it's pulling this side down, and that it's wedging. And so once it well, wedges, I've been operating that door the same way for, for but years. But if they move the machine this much, it can make all the difference in the way the cabinet sits. I guarantee you. If somebody, if somebody you, on your it, phone, you can get a level on your phone. Yeah. Put it up there. Look at this, and then you level that, and you crank that leg. It all of a sudden they'll open right up, and you'll go. I'll be damn! I could have done this a long time ago. But what, else, what, what my guys tell me, I'm not yeah. here. What my guys tell me is that the, the lock is a spinning. It's not right. usually when you put a I key can in. fix that too. Right. Take a dime, yeah. take the lock, pull it out of here. Take a dime. A silver I, I, dime. I'm going to go over there. You it's can't get open right now? It's locked closed and you can't open it again. It's just locked. That's, that's the that's the trying to get it to open so you can restock it. Right, first do the floor. Okay. Do that, and then it'll pop it loose. Once you get it level, this is binding. This thing right here, when it closes up like this, it's binding here somewhere. Somewhere you're binding. Okay. Maybe pushing up against the side. And once you get the door level, it'll release it. And you'll be able to get it. But if the lock is spinning, if your lock spins every time you put the key in there, take the lock out. Once you get it open, take the lock out. Take a dime. Where are you from? Oh, we have dimes. Get an American dime, okay, you know. Okay. Wrap a piece of tape around the American dime, slide it in there, put the lock back in, and then that lock will splat. Some of the locks, they're too short. And that dime in there, you can feel this move, feel it. When you put that dime behind that, it makes it flush, okay, and then okay, it'll okay. lock in that latch. So, never heard that. Yeah, we actually have a, we actually sell a little piece of metal you can put in there. And you know the uh, key set locks? Yeah. If guys use key sets, key sets are too short. You have to put that in behind the key set or every time you open it, the key will spin in a circle. So, and that's what yours is doing. It's spinning in a circle. It spins in and a it, circle. It's not snapping up because it ain't locking in. So, yeah. so, so this right here, this little piece that, that keeps yeah. it in place, it's, it's, yeah. it's in. Yeah. So what it is is it, it's it's got when you when you unlock it and you go back it's not sliding back in it's snapping up so but yeah you put that in there a lot so do this door for me but that right there just bring it to you. you if you got the machine level well you know what my machine doesn't have the foot how many legs here there's two of them there's two legs two in the front on, one in the back well my one only has one it's then, a 2010 model it's only it one. has to have those we didn't build them without that. I promise you. My second order in 2011 I started. I started getting two legs. Then you got tomorrow? the machine and somebody took it off. No, I, are you back tomorrow? I'll be back tomorrow. Get pictures. I will get. Yeah, I will get them today. I have yeah. to take a picture and send. I'll it. get them a video. I'll get a video. Yeah. Better yeah. the video. But all right, so here's one thing they can do. If there's no leg on there, tip it back a little bit. Stick a stick a magazine under there. 
and then and then let it back down on the magazine and then try to open the door. Okay, so my it's just like this. That's what my, my combo machine. That's a frozen machine. Now, no, it's it's a it's a combo machine. It's an Alpine it's okay. Alpine five thousand, but the twenty ten model. But they've been doing it since ninety five. Yeah. We've had outrigger like on it. They do that because if the shelves get too heavy, they they don't want it to no. focus. Yeah, I, I figured. Yeah, I don't know why. It should be there. I'm gonna get you a video for get, tomorrow. Get pictures. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for tomorrow for sure. Yep. For sure. Thank I'll you guys. Be here. All right, all right, guys. I appreciate you. Thank, Thank you. No problem. Anytime. Now, where are you at? I'm in Antigua, St. John's, Antigua. We're going to come St. down. John's. How far is it from Grand Cayman? A bit, a bit away. Grand okay. Cayman is there. Cayman North side? Yeah. No, you're, it's there. We, we're down. You're down the, by St. Thomas. St. John, St. Thomas. Correct, correct. Yeah, like about half an hour from Yeah. I'll call you next time I come in on a cruise ship. Oh, down man. There. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. I'm yeah. running around on your route with you. So I'll give you my card. You'll have to call me. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm headed to the Caymans here in about three weeks. Oh, so, good. So, Check yeah. So, all right, all right. That's great. I love, yeah, I love it down there. You know? oh, so, yeah, if I get down there, I'll come spend the day with you.